May 12th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Um, I'm going to start with Fukushima. TEPCO put out a, a release stating they found a new leak off of the first reactor and have plugged it and that was leaking into the Pacific Ocean high levels of radiation. Um, nothing really new out of the official TEPCO today. If I find any videos, of course, I will attach them below. EarthChangesScott.net on the storm chase, tornado is possible today in Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. I can tell you Des Moines was under a tornado watch, but uh, nothing really became of it. Up here we did have some severe thunderstorms, uh, but nothing major here in, in my personal neighborhood. But uh, again, here it is, the, the Mississippi Valley in the upper midwest getting the rain again. 26 dead as tropical storm leaves the Philippines. Now this is uh, the tropical storm Mary and um, of course it is sweeping up across the coast of Japan and uh, all the things that that entails of course. <clears throat> but uh, they're saying um, the latest show the area affected 71,267 families or uh, 376,888 people in 464 villages, five, um, 65 municipalities, 5 cities and 12 provinces and 6 regions nationwide. That is a big storm. And they're saying at least 26 people dead. And they've got a story on um, a 3D piece on how Mount St. Helens, Helens erupted back in 1980. I'm not really sure about that. Here's some um, weird news. A bad decision. FEMA must help tornado victims. The Federal Emergency Management Agency should reconsider its decision to deny Governor Bob McDonald's request to declare a major disaster in parts of southwest Virginia ravaged by tornadoes. FEMA denied McDonald's request for Washington and uh, Pulaski con counties over the weekend, indicating the damage was not severe enough to qualify for federal assistance. And uh, if you remember, this is the, the mega tornado outbreak that went on through, again, the, the Mississippi, uh, Ohio Valley. And uh, FEMA's turning down stuff. Well, you weren't, you weren't blown up enough, so... This can definitely show a sign of trouble economically. You got a story out of Iowa, washing away the fields of Iowa. To an untrained eye, the fields of Iowa have reassuring solidity. You cannot tell that the state has lost half of its topsoil in the past century. According to a new report from the Environmental Working Group, Iowa soil is washing away at rates higher than anyone's realized. Uh, yeah, go figure all the chemicals and crap they've been spraying all over the place, the industrial farming going on over here, and, and the lack of regulation, of course, it's big money here in Iowa, the heartland. Um, definitely a good read if you're into long um, what's going on with our food and production. Uh, mysterious Hole Sparks Fear in Harlesden, London. Residents were shocked to find this gaping hole as they arrived back from work one afternoon. Uh, the crevice, which was some three feet deep and two feet wide, appeared in Leopard Road, Harleston, without any sign of what caused it. So I got a big sinkholes happening uh, in London. Big earthquake hit southern Spain to at least ten people were reported dead and dozens, dozens injured after earthquakes shook southeastern Spain on Wednesday, toppling historic buildings in the medieval town of Lorca. A 5.1 magnitude earthquake has hit the town of Lorca in southern Spain, leaving seven people dead and several medieval buildings collapsed. Yeah, 5.2, 5.1. And I'm sure there's a lot of videos and pictures out on this. And another story, the 5.3 5 earthquake kills at least four in Spain. 
Well, they've got another story. Volcano heats high mountain lake to 108 degrees. Now imagine what a few thousand underwater volcanoes could do. And uh, there's, there, uh, it's definitely it's, uh, it's a piece running into... Um, there are way more underwater volcanoes than there are surface volcanoes. And uh, how this is changing the temperature in the water. The carbon, uh, blah, blah, blah. And as far as... Uh, our climate change and what is causing all this. Um, the volcanoes have a big, big, big role to play. And a wild April 2011 weather, historic month by the numbers, and droughts and floods and heats and freezes. Of course, the crazy weather we've been going through and uh, we've been following. Over to the extinction protocol, they have this Spain story. Devil quakes topple buildings in Spain, um, 10 dead. And pictures and videos, of course. Montana braces for rounds of record flooding. Billings, Montana. It may not be uh, biblical, but with mountain snowpack at upwards of 200% of normal, this year's spring runoff is expected to be epic. And the story continues. Uh, they got another fear piece. And here's their um, story on Doomsday Fire. Millions of volcanoes are stirring beneath the world's oceans. Um, this is just a well-known fact. And uh, again, <laughs> this is what's going on as far as uh, why, is, why is the water heating up. It's, it's not us. It's the volcano stirring up due to forces uh, which we are not entirely um, figured out yet, obviously. And another fear piece, 22 fear dead in landslide in China on the 10th, and that's due to, uh, caused by heavy rainstorms that swept across southern China since Saturday. And more big quakes in Vanuatu. And, uh, another story about the Puerto Rico quake swarm, eight earthquakes in five hours, and that Puerto Rican shelf is very deep and it's where one plate sliding underneath another so no telling what's going on with that over to the watchers <clears throat> heavy rain in Nambia and South Africa um, in early May 2011 more rain fell in one day in parts of Nambia and South Africa than typically falls in an entire year for several months, unusually heavy rain and persistent rains have soaked the western African, Africa and filled rivers and basins that have been quescent for years. So this was a drought-strown area and uh, they are getting epic flooding. Climate change. And they've got this, the Spain story, of course. Comet to hit the sun. A comet just discovered by amateur astronomer. Uh, is diving past the sun today and will probably not survive. And they've got a story of the comet's death plunge into the sun. Highest water level for Memphis since 1937. Of course, us in the United States, it's our turn. Um, just for epic flooding and storms and, and whatnot. And uh, all my Australian down under people, um, we... Well, a few of us do remember what you just went through for your summertime. And um, as I was guessing, uh, I think it's our turn in the Northern Hemisphere as, as we roll into summer. And uh, the, the weather just gets crazier and crazier. Multiple vortex forming over North America. There's an upper level low pressure system vortex storm forming over the east coast of the U.S. I've reported on this. And... Uh, front with the low pressure of 29.29 .29 HG or 992 MB the, the winds are rotating the system counterclockwise in previous posts we gave some possible explanations of the situation and we gave some notes about polar cyclones arctic storms nor'easter storms and explanation of the Corliss effect the upper and lower pressure systems that are important to form this weird phenomenon going on <clears throat> and uh, they've got a report dozens of dolphins found dead in the Ukraine 
over to RSOE Mount Etna in Sicily has erupted again uh, this is an ongoing thing in Sicily let's see what else flooding in Montana flash flood in New Zealand on the North Island in the Auckland region heat wave in the state of uh, Illinois Chicago area of course we just had this really bad heat and and now it's causing uh, some major uh, rain for us and thunderstorms and whatnot um, that's about all I have for you new today of course if I missed anything please uh, attach your comments or link your videos and uh, enjoy what you can everybody thanks <laughs>